Welcome to Kejimakujik National Park and Historic Site. Located in Annapolis County, Nova Scotia, it was established in 1968. A place where the blue sky and the dark water meet, the shoreline of Kejimakujik Lake offers great views of native wildlife. At Heber Beach 2, a deer grazes, while a snapping turtle basks in the sun. But of all animals in this park, one reptile has a special following. The Blanding's Turtle. With a dedicated group of volunteers led by Norm Green, groups monitor six nesting areas at Kejimakujik. Uh, we've been coming to Kejimakujik since 1979. Spent the first uh, 20 years, I guess, just enjoying the park. We uh, started with the Blandings in 2000, so this would be our 11th year. Uh, I think volunteering is a good thing to do, whether it's uh, protecting an endangered species, helping the environment, or volunteering in any other uh, important social cause. Uh. Each spring, volunteers will follow female turtles in their search for a suitable nest. Well, I think it's partially the turtle, but I think it's uh, a lot to do with the volunteer program. And it, it's a large program with a lot of volunteers, so people get to meet a lot of people that become their friends, and it's a very uh, social group. This mother will travel across Kajimokujik Lake to the southwestern facing beaches. It looks like this mother has chosen Atkins Island. Coordinated by Parks Canada stewardship biologist Duncan Smith, volunteers and Parks Canada staff will search the beaches for digging turtles. To protect the landings, what we do is nest protection. We have uh, over 100 volunteers that do that within the park and the community. They also help out with visual surveys, trapping surveys, and then even radio tracking. The mother must choose her nest carefully as the process will take several hours. While nesting, her eggs are extremely vulnerable to her main predator, the raccoon. The main predators of the Blandings turtle uh, is raccoon. It's definitely the top one. It eats the eggs, it eats the young. It'll even eat adults uh, if it can. It appears this mother has chosen her spot. She will plant her front legs for this entire process to ensure she stays attached to the nest. When she has completed digging the nest, she will prepare herself for the first contraction by extending her neck. She's done it. She will lay anywhere from 6 to 16 eggs. When released, the eggs will have a similar texture to leather. While adjusting the eggs to ensure a safe exit for her young, the eggs sound like small rocks being rubbed together. Every year, the Parks Canada Species at Risk program collects several nests for incubation and raising in captivity. For a captive ring, what we do, uh, we actually, we have about uh, 120 volunteers and some of them are actually trained to collect eggs. If we're going to collect a nest, we actually collect that nest on site and those eggs go to Oakland Farm Zoo. When she has laid all of her eggs, 
she will use her hind legs to fill in the nest. After the hole is full, she will begin to conceal her nest. First, she will level the ground by stomping her feet. Then, using every inch of her body, she will pull rocks over the nest location. She is done, but very tired. The long walk back to the water will be slow, and the rest well deserved. She has done her best to give her young a chance. Shortly after she's left, Parks employees and volunteers will place an enclosure around the new nest. What's interesting about captive rearing is typically a nest will take uh, in the wild about you know, 80 to 90 days to incubate, but with the rearing program uh, we can adjust temperatures and because it's a constant temperature it takes more like 60. Breaking through the shell will be difficult, but if they succeed, they will have the strength needed to survive. Feeding from a yolk sac, they must absorb this first before being placed into an aquarium. Uh, last year we got about 100 turtles at, out of the captive rearing program. We're looking at around the same again this year. So we're going to have a huge introduction of uh, captively reared turtles in a couple years, which is going to really help the population. If you're interested in environmental conservation, you want to do something real that's helpful, uh, I would encourage you to give us a call because what we're looking for you to do is come on down and leave your mark on conservation. <laughs>